uh, as far as uh, the towed artillery guns are concerned so indian army's requirement is for nearly 1580 guns apart from that they also need 150 guns of atax and another 114 guns from dhanush side so there is a total requirement of almost 1800 plus guns and the way this gun has come up uh, the way this gun has been performing on field i am sure that uh, this entire 1800 numbers can be from attacks we have developed uh, four numbers of guns as of now and uh, we have fired in different terrains including balasore pxc balasore then we have got uh, fired at pffr that is a pokhran field firing ranges at pokhran and also fired at the low winter trials at sikkim field fire, firing ranges uh, put together uh, we have fired nearly 2000 rounds and to tell you that out of the 2000 rounds nearly 800 rounds we have fired at the zone 7 we fire by modular charge system from this gun and zone 7 is the highest charge that we can fire which no other country i mean no other gun system is able to accommodate seven zones but this is the only gun which can accommodate bmc as zone 7 and from there we generate highest pressure and highest muzzle velocity and highest ranges so we have fired nearly 800 rounds from that it uh, zone 7 uh, sir the attacks uh, can uh, has the sort of world record to fire the longest range now in a conflict like what we are witnessing in ladakh between india and china how can such a gun give us an edge over the enemy see uh, <coughs> look at the you know scenario or scenario there is a cons- consistent development the continuous improvements needed in terms of the range rate of fire mobility technology and so on if you look at this gun which is a 155 into 52 caliber and it has got a 25 liter chamber so it is capable of launching i mean reaching the projectile up to 48 kilometers for erab bb kind of projectile and erab bt 38 kilometers so uh, if you are uh, capable of firing at longer ranges for artillery the artillery systems can be very well behind and very well safe because your enemies cannot in, uh, enemies cannot counter at you because they do not have the capability to reach up to 48 km whereas you can reach so you can be 8 km behind and you can still be firing at them in fact it is the best gun of the world because uh, no other country has been able to develop such a gun system which is built on the high technology platform like all electric drive technology apart from that a high pressure gun barrel the high rate of fire the higher mobility and technology see bofors is a 39 caliber gun 155 into 39 caliber this is a 155 into 52 caliber so obviously the gun barrel is much longer and we are able to accommodate as i told you we are able to accommodate bmc as zone 7 so uh, in terms of range definitely bofors is falling short today it can fire only up to 32 kilometers for the base bullet round we are able to fire up to 48 km base bullet round then rate of fire bofors can fire only 3 rounds burst we are able to fire 5 round burst then on the accuracy and consistency front we are we are far far better we are able to fire up to 0.6% of the range and 0.2% of the line then mobility it is uh, it has got an apu which is uh, uh, 110 kw so it is able to propel the gun to different kind of terrains and most importantly it is the all electric drive technology which is an edge over the electro hydraulics so this gun will be very reliable maintenance free and very robust if you look at the gsqr parameters of athos and nexter they are uh, much uh, more uh, less stringent i would say as compared to the psqr of atax so definitely the gun systems are not very contemporary those guns may be looking today but they are not very contemporary uh, in the years to come when we are talking of 2027 2030 and so on attacks will be the answer to the indian army not at all i feel that uh, in the years we have developed the core competence as far as the design of the gun system is concerned we are uh, capable of doing the entire system engineering complete ballistics design simulation everything and the, the result you are, you can see over here uh, <coughs> i feel we we have developed the 
enough capability in terms of technology to produce and manufacture world class gun systems uh, using the best of the materials and technologies. Uh, I don't think there is any need for us to import any of the guns. Definitely this program itself is based on that Atmanirvar program, Make in India we call it. And uh, I think we are in the right direction to really because we have realized four prototypes uh, of gun system and they are performing very well.